Nine hotel establishments in the coast regions have received 300 million shillings under the COVID stimulus program to boost the tourism sector. Speaking in Shimoni, Kuala County, during the World Wildlife Day celebrations, Tourism CAS Joseph Boynet said that 46 other facilities across the country have been advanced 1.2 billion shillings to show up their operations. The government had set aside 1.6 billion shillings to stimulate the tourism sector after a tough 2020. Private sector firms continue to trim employee salaries further as the demand for goods and services staggers. This according to a February private sector economic survey report by Stanbeck Bank Kenya, which shows the sharpest decline in staff costs across February for the fourth consecutive month. The monthly Stanbeck Purchasing Manager Index also shows that business conditions continue to improve across February, but the rate of expansion stalled to the slowest in eight months. Elsewhere, NCBA Bank Kenya has signed a partnership deal with Tata Africa Holdings. Under the deal, NCBA customers will acquire a Tata range of commercial vehicles with up to 95% financing for up to 60 months. The two firms said the partnership will go a long way in supporting businesses in the construction and distribution sectors during the post-COVID-19 recovery period. This really is hinged on three key pillars. And finally, Safaricom and M-Pesa are the two top brands loved by women in Kenya. This according to a study conducted by Ipsos and BSD Group. The study done at the beginning of the year targeted women aged between 18 and 65 who also ranked Equity Bank, Arimi's Petroleum Jelly and Mitumba Clothes as top brands they admired. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.